It's now 17 to 4, Jazz Radio 94.1 FM here on the Gold Coast. And we really are very fortunate in Australia to see some of the great international jazz musicians. And one very talented jazz singer and pianist from America is now touring, and that's Amanda Carr. And Amanda is on the line. Amanda, thanks very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Good afternoon. I hope my uh, signal stays uh, strong here on the train. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure it will. Where, where are you actually traveling to? I'm going back to Brisbane, and um, I have a performance uh, tomorrow night down at the Brisbane Jazz Club um, and uh, with Graham Norris Quartet. And uh, then the following day, I'm doing a fundraising event up in Fig Tree Pocket, uh, which is just, I think, a little bit northwest of the city. And then on uh, Sunday, I'm, I'm doing the Brisbane Festival um, at Spiegel Tent with the um, uh, Brisbane Contemporary Jazz Orchestra. Well, that all sounds like a lot of fun, and you've toured with many of the great big bands around Europe and also America and put on uh, some great concerts, including tribute to Benny Goodman and Peggy Lee, and also headlined at the Euro Jazz Festival in Italy. That must have been a great highlight. That really was a great highlight, and it's starting to be a, a little bit more of a memory because uh, it, was a, a, it was about 10 years ago, but um, um, it really was great. Uh, George Mraz and uh, James Moody got to share the stage with them, and, you know, I was really a little bit newer in this genre because it wasn't always the genre that I started in, and uh, it, it was just really, uh, a thrill to be able to uh, share the stage with them. Well, you're also a composer, and you've got credits for composing and performing award-winning music for a couple of uh, great documentaries with a bit of a sporting uh, relevance, and you received an Emmy nomination for the story of golf. That must have been an interesting experience. It really was. I love putting music to pictures. Um, I find that it's, um, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't play mostly in the jazz genre as a pianist, but I grew up as a rock keyboard player in pop. Um, but um, I'm very versatile in terms of um, playing for uh, videos and film. Now, you're the uh, CEO of a newly formed not-for-profit organization called the American Big Band Preservation Society. Now, tell us all about that. It sounds very interesting. Well, it was actually inspired by my father, who, um, after World War II, when he was in the Navy band, he was a trumpet player that played with a lot of the name big bands around in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, he was a year with Tex Beneke's band when Edie Gourmet was the singer and Mel Lewis was the drummer. And he sat in on a lot of bands, Larry Clinton, Louis Prima, Buddy Rich. Um, so um, I, even though it wasn't the music of m my interest when I was young, I really developed uh, an interest in uh, a little bit later on in what my father did and, and also an appreciation for it. So um, I did a big band record using some of the people that he played with and also some of the arrangers, and we were lamenting over the fact that so many of these great arrangements um, are going into closets and a lot of arrangers are passing away and their material is actually, you know, um, just being stored away or their family doesn't know what to do with it. So we started to just kind of collect some of these arrangements and, and, and um, make copies of them um, and also try to get them into school so that we can get kids excited about this music because it's just collectively just great music. And as far as America goes, I mean, this is the was our social fabric for many years. Um, it took us through you know some really tough times and this is really our history and i'm just trying to preserve it as well as my own personal legacy uh, where can we find out about the american big band preservation society well you can find it on on the internet at <clears throat> excuse me american big band dot org i guess short for organization and that must be a heck of a lot of work for you in addition to all your <laughs> other it is. You know, sometimes I just say, you know, why did I start this? Because it is. But what's happening now is I'm um, getting some people to rally with me. And, and it's been a slow start for me. But now I've got some people that are equally as interested. And we're, we're kind of building the organization in a smart way um, and, and really just kind of aligning our projects based on our resources. But it's catching on very fast. And what I've realized is so many people are preserving big band music, even over here in Australia just by getting together and playing it and it's certainly alive and well in the schools um, I'm staying with a friend over here whose son plays in his at the Brisbane uh, Boys Grammar School and they have a tremendous big band and I was absolutely quite impressed with their drummer you know a teenage kid who just 
played great big band. He had a great style, great time. So um, I'm just really happy to see that it's it's actually over here um, being preserved well too. Well, it is difficult forming big bands, isn't it? Because you've obviously got a lot of personnel and equipment and logistics and uh, the expenses as well must be huge. It is. I mean, I think it's just um, a casualty of the economy like anything else, you know. Um, and that's why I think it's important to go back to grassroots and make sure that, you know, anytime you can bring it into schools and at least get kids interested in it so that, you know, when people do have an opportunity with a community band or just casually um, getting together, uh, however often, maybe once a month, maybe every week, but just playing this music and having the opportunity to play this music as much as possible. Absolutely. Well, Amanda, we're uh, coming up to the news, but just tell us again, you're going to be performing at the Brisbane Jazz Club. When is that? That's tomorrow night. It's Friday night, Brisbane Jazz Club, with the Graham Norris. He's um, a saxophonist and um, with his quartet. And uh, on Saturday, I'll be in Fig Tree Pocket, this little suburb, um, doing a fundraising event. And also on Sunday, I'll be at the Brisbane Festival at Spiegel Tent with the Brisbane Contemporary Jazz Orchestra. Well, that sounds fantastic. Some great venues. The Brisbane Jazz Club is one of our great supporters and a wonderful venue too, so I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And, of course, the Brisbane Festival. Amanda, thanks very much for joining us, and uh, keep in touch. We'll have to talk to you again. Absolutely. I'll send you more of my music. Thank you so much for your uh, time, John. Appreciate it. That'd be great. It's a pleasure talking to you. That's Amanda Carr, and we have new sport and weather coming up at the top of the hour. Taking us to the news at 5 to 4 is Third Force.